we lost our son to cancer two years ago now, and so he was just a gentle soul. As much as Dan was, you know, a young adult, uh, you know, it still is, you know, trauma for the whole family. At the end of his treatment, um, he really wanted to move out with his mates and have that experience because he was still living at home. He started looking for this property and we found one in um, just not far from here, very close. And um, it needed a bit of tidy up at Reno as well. It was a very old, dated house with lots of little rooms. And it gave him a little bit of a project as well to sort of do a bit of renoing with it. When he passed away, we needed to have it um, rented and went back to Cherie. And the Clowner City Realty put the right tenant in, and that tenant's been in there as well for a couple of years. It was still an old house that still needed things done, and uh, you know the tenant was really good too. When he had a problem, he went to them, and they sorted it out. Um, didn't sort of have to impact on us all the time. You know, they they were able to manage and make decisions and, and fix things if they needed fixing. The house that we've got, is, it was Dan's house, um, just weren't looked after a little bit more because he spent the time doing some of the renovations on it. We have got long-term tenants, which have been awesome. We don't have to do anything. Um, they, they manage everything. They do check in with us and ask us if there's anything and they make it very easy for us as um, landlords. Dan's motto, well, his last night, he was basically telling everyone, you've got to go and live life for him, have fun, do things he can't get to do. So I do try to live life and, and look for good 